You have heard the term IP mentioned before in this series and probably out there in the world of IT, but let's do a deeper dive into what exactly we need to know about it for the CCST networking exam. As you have heard before, an IP address is like a digital home address for each device in a network. Every device on a network, your phone, laptop, router, they all need IP addresses to know where to send and how to receive data. It looks something like this, four numbers separated by a dotted decimal notation. That's IPv4, the most common format. Now, let's break down the composition of IP addresses. They are made up of two parts, the network portion, which identifies the network, and the host portion, which identifies the actual device on that network. A subnet mask is what's used to separate IP addresses into those two parts. Subnet masks mainly help routers know where to send data. In the CCST networking exam, it is also important to understand the difference between public versus private IP addresses. Some IP addresses are private and only used within your home or office network. These addresses are not routable on the internet. These usually start with 192.168, 10 or 172.16 through 31. Most importantly, these addresses are not directly accessible from the internet. They are meant for local use only. Public IP addresses, on the other hand, are used to identify devices out there on the internet. A default gateway is the device, usually a router, that sends your traffic out of your local network and into the wider world. When your device doesn't recognize a destination IP address as being local, it sends the data to a gateway's IP address, which then knows where to forward it next. Once you understand IP addressing, you can start thinking more like a network professional, which is exactly the mindset that the CCST is helping us build. To learn more about IP addressing and to get yourself more familiar with the different questions that you might see on the CCST networking exam, you can check out the Cisco Networking Academy's courses at the link below. You can also learn more about topics beyond the CCST by checking out Cisco U's free tutorials.